would gut it, ferret out all the edges and all the, the uh, tie wire holes that had been filled in, uh, come through, and remember what we said earlier, always keep the majority of the sanding machine sanding block on the flat plane and just come up to the edge so you leave your nice straight edges. We went to a lot of trouble to keep them on edge and then nice and tidy. So we've got good clean edges now. Another little thing I like to do to keep my tape in line is I got a little block that I've measured off half the width of the tape that I run along the edge of the seam and leave a pencil line in. One thing I also did is I marked off my uh, half width of the tape along the stern seam and the bow seam here. When I bring in the, uh, the side tapes will go on first and I want to cut them off smooth to the edge. I don't need an overlap. Uh, it just makes a bigger lump that I need to hide. So I'm just going to bring them up and butt them up next to the seam that runs along the keel and the stem and the stern. Take any excess you have in that lower, lower seam and start chasing it to the ends. And then start angling it, or curving I should say, off around the, uh, the outside. situated where it's up on the on the seam. You get a little more chance to move it around. Once it's wet it out a little bit. Run it back and forth a couple times. This is going to be the worst one of the bunch because it's the bottom chine and has the most most curvature, especially at the stern. So there we go. I've got it all uh, smoothed out. Now I'll come along and I'll completely wet out the bottom half to get it firmly attached and then I'll come back and start in the middle and then chase at the end. So let me get this bottom half wetted out and we'll come back and we'll see burn up some tape and show you how I'm wetting this out. Especially at this tricky part of the end. Just keep advancing the, the sticky line that I like to call it. And at least that's what I'm calling it at the moment. You'll also notice as the tape you get closer to the tape as you're chasing down to the end, uh, the tape actually gets narrower. You really won't notice it unless you put a tape measure on it. But you can see how it's, it's become narrower at this spot, or at the very end. But still try to split the difference between the upper half and the bottom half and get a good wet out. Chase the stuff to the end. I still land the out. Okay. And because it's kind of it's warm out today here in Seattle, it's supposed to be 90, which is kind of unheard of around here. Uh, I'm changing brushes. I've got like three brushes. This is a brand new one. And I cut the ends off the toothbrush, you know, that little spot that gets into the back teeth, I guess, and I just leave a shorter, about three quarter length brush. Seems to work perfect. Okay, now we'll go back and, and start at the middle here. And I like to lift it up a little just to give it some tack underneath and then start 
chasing that excess, the tack underneath that I put in tends to hold it, give it something to, to hold down on. Chasing at the end, especially I had a wet spot here, but I don't want it to start tacking up on me. And then go back to where you've got it tacked down and do a complete wet out. Also be checking for runs down in this lower spot here. You don't want to have it all over the place. Also brush it upwards. Keep following along the little pencil line that we put in earlier. set upward and forward on the little movements and you'll see well you can't see but I can see that this end of the tape is narrower than it was in the middle so now let's come back here and chase this away I'm only mixing up an ounce and a half at a, at a time because it's so warm out, I don't want to get everything sticking up. Because if I would have had a big cup of this thing, oh, it will go quickly. Well, it's going to go quickly, but it's going to go quickly in your cup. So, and as I said in one of the other earlier ones, on taping the inside, you don't want to be doing this with epoxy that is getting thicker because it just doesn't want to run and it starts tacking up. One of my earlier boats I had some pretty ugly looking uh, seams on because uh, uh, just couldn't get it on in quick enough. So let's go around here to the end and finish this baby out. I'll let that set a little bit and I'll come back later when it's still green. As you remember, green is uncured, epoxy. Uh, and then I'll take an X-Acto knife and trim right along this edge and then this whole thing will peel right off. Okay, this is what I was talking about earlier when I said uh, uh, when the uh, epoxy is green, uh, come back and uh, do all the work on the rough edges the, at that time because you'll be able to Take your X-Acto knife and then pull up the tape and you still have your nice clean edges. Now it's all good.